Good morning. It is September the 23rd, 2016. Time to kick off another trading day. Okay, just looking at the volume movement, we have volume basically down here in the um, 130.16, 130.18 area. Market trades up right here. We're working with a nice P up here. You can see volume is high. Here's the Globex volume right here. Split, so we're, we're holding volume right here, and that's, that should lead to a retest of yesterday's highs and or higher prices. <coughs> The low volume number is at two and a half. That's where the market has stopped so far. Uh, then the attractors are up at six to eight. Have another low volume number up at uh, one six one thirty one nine and a half. So resistance basically is three to four, and that is where the first sell is. Uh, not much news to drive the trading today. Uh, not much news out overnight, uh, out of Asia, out of Europe. Pretty much uh, flash PMI manufacturing and service were above estimates, <coughs> even in France. So uh, the um, European economy sh actually showed some growth, if you can believe the numbers. On the downside, last rotate stopped at 30 and a half, then 28, and then 27 and a half. So um, this. Uh, 25 to 29 area by one and then 17 to 21 by two okay they have um, interesting pricing now on the uh, 10 year it comes in quarter quarter points not half points so 30 and a half One thirty-one is where the point was yesterday for option expiration on the ten-year contract. So mathematically, that would be an expiration at twenty-four. Right down here in this area. So we'll look for uh, mathematically the close is at twenty-four. We'll see if that happens. Um, uh, anything over one thirty-one starts to cost the market maker money. But today we have the PMI flash manufacturing fifty-two. Last month it was 50.1. Atlanta Fed inflation expectations 1.8. Uh, no one will pay any attention to that. That's that seems about right. Baker Hughes previous 6.38. Rig count could come in higher. Uh, the OPEC news overnight: <coughs> Saudi Arabia offered to freeze production. Freeze production. If Iran would freeze their production, Libya has already said that they won't. Uh, Iran, the chances of them getting Iran to agree to deal, I, I would say, are pretty slim and next to none. Especially since the United States has just given those people $150 billion to fund their economy. I mean, giving aid and comfort to the enemy, our professed enemy out there, you know, in, in days of old, that would have brought charges. Right now, it can't be brought because you'd be accused of being a racist, which is the, as we see, uh, pretty much the only thing that party can run on these days. The cost to undo all of this is going to come at a very high price, probably war. And a lot of people, if you're a student of military history, remember Spain in 1936 through 39, where everybody got to practice their tactics and perfect their weaponry. Well, we have Syria going on right now, and you have Russia, you have China, you have Iran, you have the United States, you have the Emirates, the Persian Gulf states. You have a lot of people uh, perfecting their weapons technology and techniques, tactics. So uh, these are not comfortable times. Okay, looking at the 30-year, we are at 31. So 4 to 8 is number 1, 11 to 15, sell 1, 19 to 23, sell 2. And I'm bringing them in a little bit because of option expiration today. Looking at the 30-year, 66 to 68 is where the option play centered yesterday that puts in the call. So it closed below 68. Uh, makes the market maker the most money. On the support side, 
it's either 20 to 24 or 24 to 28 so we'll make it 24 or 28 so 17 to 21 by 1 9 to 13 by 2 so we're going to play for a compressed range today option expiration given the fact that there's not a lot of news out there putting things into context that's what it's called that's what you have that's where you have to take yourself over time I'm excited about the weekend. We're supposed to have temperatures uh, below 80 this weekend at some point in the daytime. I can live with that. Saw the long range forecast. Warmer to hotter than normal as a forecast through the fall across the entire United States. Just a little cooler. I can live with that. Okay, looking at gold, uh, we're, we're at our 45, 47, where we were yesterday. So 44, 46, sell one. 49, 51, stops above 50, within reach. I don't think this move is over until we get there. 35, 37 on the buy side. Then 30 to 32. No news to speak of um, to drive the markets. Um, Overnight they didn't. They did impact gold. So we'll we'll say there's nothing in the U.S. that'll change things news-wise. Uh, the biggest piece of news hanging over the market out there right now will be Iran's acceptance of the uh, Saudi deal, and then maybe the the debate. <clears throat> I don't know if it's on. I think it's on Monday night. I'm not sure though. If Donald Trump wins that walking away is a clear winner of that debate my guess is we'll probably um, see selling coming into the market as uh, Wall Street is one about 98 percent committed to Hillary's election now how will they play that if uh, the, the deck shifts um, through all times good times and bad times Democrats get about 55 percent of the contributions no matter who's in power they get more when they're in power Republicans get about 45 <coughs> from the capital crony capitalists and the insiders and the reason you do that is that um, these guys that are in power can hurt you through legislation the Democrats will the Republicans might <coughs> that's why they get a little less money so if it looks like Trump is going to start walking away with this deal I would imagine his contributions from Wall Street will pick up as they protect their backside um, and we'll have to we'll see if that happens. But my guess, the next big event for uh, the stock market might be um, the Trump uh, Clinton debate when that happens. Okay, looking <coughs> at the euro right here, um, we had 60 to 70 as a sell last night. That looks reasonable still. 90 to the buck, sell two. On the buy side. Um, Give it a little room to the downside, 25 to 35. And then the buck <coughs> for buy two. Don't look for a big day here either. crude last night uh, after the markets were closed uh, on their clock and calendar time <coughs> Saudi Arabia put a deal out there that they uh, willing to freeze production if Iran would do it and we said that we had to be very very uh, wary uh, that um, those statements coming out of OPEC and OPEC members that would be uh, at least rhetorically support the market so we have a seller at 46.50. We got a buyer at 45.50. That's where it. That's probably what we'll what we'll see today. So 46 and a quarter, 46.50. Sell one. 
4675 47 sell to uh, the thing that would turn this market around and send it explosively higher would be Iran agreeing to a deal on the uh, buy side uh, 4550 to 75 45 even 45 and a quarter so in gaming strategizing that's the one big thing that could really really um, uh, that shake a lot of markets it would move into the equity markets too now the ES the ES is paused. The uh, news out of Europe showed a better economy than forecast, uh, both in industrial and service production PMIs. Um, the E-mini is still pointed higher. I don't think we've seen contract highs yet. Uh, I think uh, new contract highs, um, if the uh, race is close into the election week, would be um, <coughs> The way that I would play it if I were trying to engineer a Democrat win based on uh, stock market input. So um, we could come back. The breakout came from 58 right here. So a retest of the 50 58 area is there. Then if we get below that, it'll be the 35 37 area. Right now we do have selling. So on the uh, sell side, uh, 68 70s. Uh, 7375 I'm going to give it a little room to the downside we have this little two letter ledge at 6150 uh, so getting stops beneath that 6159 by one and then 5557 so basically 55 to 60 is our buy zone and our sell zone is 68 to 73 News today, PMI 52, uh, last month it was 52.1, our last report, 1.8 on business inflation, that's probably will come in just as that, uh, 638 was the last Baker Hughes rig count. Um, I think we're going to get that test of support. Remember, four stages of market activity, first stage in this case would be up, find a price, two that cuts off the buying. Then the market comes back looking for support. They find support. Then the market comes back up. And if it can't take out this price up here, then it moves into development. Uh, as the move is consolidated, it's absorbed, or whatever you want to call it. So uh, we definitely have had a stage one. Seeing no rejection right here. We're not seeing a lot of Ds. We don't see a tail up here. Uh, so this market, I, I don't think we found a price that's cut off the buying yet. So I think right now they're going to look for, look for support, find out where that is. Once that comes in, uh, then they can go back up and test the uh, 73, 75 area. My feeling is we're going to see new highs on this move. I don't think this move is over. Okay, we'll take a bit to get everything up and posted. I'm going to get busy on that. Back with you as soon as possible.